Is there only one way to be saved? Now that question is one that each of us should be interested in if we're desirous of going to heaven. Sin separates us from God, Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. God said in the book of Romans, the sixth chapter, verse 23, the wages of sin is, is death. But he wants us to have the gift of eternal life. But how do we have it? Is there only one way? Jesus answered the question once and for all, for any who are concerned with what the Bible teaches, whatever he said in John, the 14th chapter, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto my Father but by me. And you look at that and you find that he even told the way that we find it. He warned there are two ways, Matthew 7, 13 and 14. There's a broad way that many enter in that leads to destruction, but there's a narrow way that leads to eternal life. How do we find it? John 8 and verse 32, he said, you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. So mankind needs to look into this. There's only a singular message. To change it is to lose one's salvation, according to Galatians 1, verse 69. So you look at it and you say, well, what does he say? He says, he is the way. His word is the truth that can make us free. In the book of Acts, the second chapter, we have a, an account of some who decided to follow that. They'd been told that they were in sin. They cried out and said in verse 37, many brethren, what shall we do? They were told as the apostles were guided unto all truth, as had been promised, or John 16 and verse 13, they were told, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Now, those that gladly received the word, what did they do? You see, the word, the truth, was received. They then were baptized. Why? Because that's what God's word, Jesus' way, the way, taught them to do. What did God do? Exactly what he promised. Their sins were remitted and they were added to the church, Acts 2, and verse 37 through 47. Now, what did they do after that? They continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, the truth. You see, there's only one way of salvation, and that is through God's truth. Jesus is the one who died to make that possible. He is the way. But to follow him, we must follow his truth. I pray that we'll all determine to do that, that we'll strive to have salvation, not on man's terms, but on God's blessed way, the way that his grace is provided for us. God wants all mankind to be saved. And this merciful and gracious God gave his son and provided that way. We pray that each one of us will follow it. Thank you for listening.